This is Tom. His company, High Quality Parts, produces components with the help of machine tools and industrial robots. These are Chris and Paula. Chris's company, All Robo, produces industrial robots, and Paula's company, Hydyne, manufactures machine tools. High Quality Parts is one of their customers. For all three, the EU Data Act has been in force since the 11th of January 2024. Oh dear, what exactly does that mean? Tom, Chris and Paula haven't had to deal with this yet. Are they affected in some way? Yes, they are. Tom's high quality parts is based in the EU and is a user of connected products. Chris's All Robo is based outside the EU. Paula's Hydine is based within the EU. Both sell their connected products within the EU. This results in new rights and obligations for all three of them. Among other things, Tom's High Quality Parts now has the right to be granted secure access to certain data generated during operation of the industrial robot and machine tool in its factory. Regardless of where their companies are based, Chris and Paula have the obligation to provide this access easily and free of charge. Tom, Chris and Paula are hearing about this for the first time. They wonder what this means for them and how they should react. Tom realizes the benefits this regulation brings for him as he finally has access to certain data that he either didn't have access to before or had to pay for. His ideas are flowing on how to optimize his production based on data and make use of digital services. Chris and Paula, on the other hand, are now worried about releasing confidential data and possibly revealing proprietary expertise to competitors, should they disregard the regulation. That would be a bad idea, because in that case, they might have to expect civil law disputes or face sanctions. Can they avoid the regulation by no longer offering connected products? They could avoid the regulation this way, but would probably find it difficult to remain competitive. Chris and Paula realize that they have to deal with the new regulation. They ask themselves how much time they have left to avoid violating it. The EU Data Act will apply from the 12th of September 2025. From this date on, users of connected products, such as Tom, will be able to request access to certain data generated during the operation of these products. One year later, Chris and Paula will also have to ensure that access to this data is provided in a standardized manner. However, this only applies to connected products that are placed on the market in the EU from the 12th of September 2026. So. Chris and Paula have to act, but what should they do? Where should they start? First of all, they have to deal with the legal aspects of the regulation. This means reviewing their products, business models and contracts and adapting them if necessary. But then the focus is on creating the technical prerequisites for successful implementation of the EU Data Act. Thankfully, UMARTI and the corresponding interface standards can help them achieve this. The use of OPC UA with companion specifications offers an efficient way to meet the technical prerequisites for the standardized provision of certain data. Chris and Paula are glad that standardized data descriptions already exist they can now master the task. Tom also benefits from the implementation of UMARTI, as machine data is now made available in a standardized way across different machines, manufacturers and domains, and can be processed more easily. 
If Tom does not wish to process the data himself, he can also use the digital services of a third party, whose rights and obligations as a data recipient are also regulated in the EU Data Act. Paula realizes that she is also in the role of user as her company, Hydine, is based within the EU and uses connected products from other manufacturers to produce its machine tools. For Tom and Paula, the correct implementation of the EU Data Act ultimately opens up the possibility of new business models and new innovative products and services. Be ready for the future, thanks to Umati. Umati, Universal Machine Technology Interface.